this run before tryouts. I should probably be filming this way, huh? Oh, please excuse my unshaven armpits. But last time doing this little setup with my little phone tripod. Yeah, I'm really glad I got this because it really comes in handy. Came in handy for this, so. Oh. I'm glad I only have to do three songs. If I had to do more, I think I'd be I'd be able to do it, but I'd only have be able to practice it like one time. <laughs> um, I think when I first started practicing on Monday, I practiced my three songs three times, and then Tuesday I did it three times, and then yesterday third took a break Wednesday, yesterday Thursday, Friday, only practiced twice. So at this point, I've pretty much got it down. I know when to cue in different moves. Um, for me, it was just like focusing on letting loose, having fun. So we'll see. Just did a little bit of Theragun before before I try out. Um, yeah, feeling nice and loose and limber. Um, not too loose though, which is nice, but sorry, got a text message. But um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe some people will be like, you shouldn't Theragun before you work out. But I just figured, you know, better safe than sorry. Better to feel nice and loose, warmed up a little. I mean, I still have like two hours and I'm like fully like ready. Um, yeah, that's a great angle. Yeah, I don't know, I'm just chilling. I feel like if I try to like get hyped up right now, like I'll like lose it, lose that hype feeling, lose that energy, so. I'm just chilling. Come here. Come. Come. Come on. Scully. Come on. Up. Complete opposite end of the couch. Yeah. We chilling. Um, that's it. Yeah. I, I know my routine. I know what I, what things I want to say. So whatever's in between just go with the flow and I just gotta remind myself it doesn't need to be perfect just want it to be fun loose happy high energy so we'll see it is super dark wow it's not even seven o'clock yet but winter time or whatever fall it's basically winter though but um yeah so I didn't really give an update after my tryouts um I was super 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 nervous uh before my tryout it was me and one other girl so that was nice um because we rode along to her tryout songs as well so it was nice that there wasn't like there weren't like five people um trying out i'm just gonna just be safe um so there weren't like five people trying out and i'd have to do like 15 songs which i think is like a full class at that point but um yeah the tryouts were cool um i went first which i'm kind of glad i did um just to like get it over with and i didn't want to be too winded because i had a pretty fast song as my second song and then a sprint as my third song so I wanted to make sure I had you know really good stamina um yeah and I didn't really I did everything I wanted to do like I did everything I wanted to accomplish um as far as what I had practiced um yeah I think I did well I did well because um I got brought on for training so it doesn't guarantee a spot just yet um so Right now we're starting out with um, 
the requirement is to ride in person five times a week. Um, they offer live stream classes as well. So I have the option to do one to two live stream classes if like my schedule gets hectic. So it's nice that there's some flexibility, but I'm really gonna try to do five classes a week as much as possible. So this is class, technically this is class four of five already because I did a double on Sunday, but just, you know, for the extra credit, I'm gonna do one more this week. Um, so I did two Sunday back to back. Wasn't planning on doing a double, it just kind of happened. And then I did Monday, last night's Monday night class. And then I just did a class tonight, Tuesday. Um, I'm planning on taking a break tomorrow. So I went extra hard today. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'll be filming, um, throughout the training process, I guess. I have, like, homework that I need to send, um, just, like, things that I notice in class. Um, each class is, um, a different, like, assignment, like, notice posture, or not posture, notice, um, form, or how they count you in, things like that, um, count you into a move, um. So yeah, I'm really stoked. I was definitely kind of doubting myself just because I was so in my head during during my tryout. Um, again, like I, I wouldn't take anything back even with the little bit that I messed up um, with like losing the beat. Um, yeah, I just feel like my personality could come out a little bit more. Um, but I think that's just with time and practice, I'll get better at that for sure. But yeah, that's my update. Um, sorry I'm filming this in the dark. Like I could have just filmed this inside the apartment, but thought I should film it now, but yeah. <laughs> respect on my name but um I don't know what you're doing um but uh I have like school class now at seven I got out of workout class at oh you cannot see me I got of, out of workout class at basically 6 50 and then like now it's 7 58 but eh, I can be like five minutes late to this class because I got to at least make a protein shake. So, let go. <sighs> wow, look at me. I straightened my hair. Wow, okay. So I straightened my hair last night because I'm going to Seattle today. And, uh, yeah. I was like, oh, I can just like touch it up. So I'm basically gonna have to re-straighten it all over again. But I'm glad I went to that class. That was so good. So this was technically Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Oh, Friday. Cause I, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Oh shit, this was like class six. How many times am I gonna recount that? Okay, I can count. I'm in grad school. Anyway, um, I didn't need to go to class today, whatever. I'm glad I did, that was fun. That was my first like, well, second class with Jeremy in person. And I'm happy to say I conquered my fear um, cause Jeremy is very intense. Like he's great, he's super sweet, but he has a lot of runs and not just like a bunch of 30 second runs. Like we did a minute long run and that was our second run in the class. Um, I think we did two more after, like one more after that and then one at the end of the class. So a lot of runs, um, but nonetheless, it was super fun. And I stayed up during that minute run the whole time. My first time ever staying up for the full minute um, ever. This is not a good angle. Why do I look like I've been crying? 
haven't been crying just um just got out the shower so might have rubbed my eyes a little too hard we'll see um i haven't updated since after i think my first training session which like feels like a million years ago a lot has happened um we're like we've built up a few more songs over the last two training sessions um like practicing more more and more songs were basically just like leading up to our full playlist already um which is nice because by the time we have our community ride we will have it like the back of our hands which is nice um yeah i'm just trying my best to take in the feedback and really implement it and try to be cognizant of it while also being aware of my form and like how i sound and um making sure i'm being engaging and like all this it's a lot <laughs> it's a lot to keep track of when you're up there and especially like and then you've got the music blaring you can't like yeah it's a lot happening at once but i just know over time of practicing it i'll get it down eventually and yeah they're definitely going to make sure that we know it like the back of our hands before we have our first community ride so that's exciting um i don't know if we have that scheduled out just yet um but i don't think it's going to be until maybe december or late November, I don't know, we'll see. But nonetheless, we're working towards it. We're getting there. Um, yeah, after my first training, I think that's when I recorded last. Actually, no, it was like after just a class. And then I went, I went from a spin class to school class. Um, and yeah, I... I don't think I recorded actually after training because the first week of training was finals week. So that got a little tricky. I definitely uh, at one point had to come home, shower, try to shove food into my mouth and uh, then like get cozy and get on the couch and finish a final. Uh, but it worked out. I got to be in that class somehow. Um, insert photo for Um, and then I think that was the last final I needed to finish and turn in. No, I needed to turn in another one the next day. No, whatever. I had to do one final, like, after a training session of, like, writing from 6 p.m., till 6 45 then training from 7 to 8 30 so that was um an experience for sure it was somehow like i was just um i think because of the endorphins and stuff um i didn't feel super stressed out and i think i finished the final at like 11 like just at 11 so um yeah that was interesting <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, it's just been go, go, go. So that happened. And then after that, it was like, cool. All I need to do is focus on like finishing up work and finishing up as many classes as I can because I went to New York for five days. So then it was just finish all my work during the day. <coughs> and I had on my last day, last week, Wednesday, before I left for New York Thursday, I had 13 meetings back to back, which was insane. So, finished that, headed to class, spin class, um, got out, and then had to do, you know, last minute packing, pack my skincare and stuff. Um, and then, yeah, hopped on a plane to New York Thursday, came back uh, yesterday, Tuesday. <laughs> um, was supposed to be home, supposed to have a flight 5 a.m. New York time and get here by like 1 o'clock p.m., 1 p.m. Did not happen. Flight got delayed significantly later. Um, so I got home at like 7, uh, which wasn't too bad, honestly. It was like enough time to kind of like tell, tell my husband about the trip and all that and kind of debrief like all the happenings, um, 
and like kind of unpack a little bit and settle down. And then luckily today, Wednesday, um, day after I got back, I had the day off. So, okay, I'm rambling. Um, training's going well though. Build, I pretty much have my playlist already like built. So it's nice to like just continue, continue to keep practicing it. Um, and yeah, we're doing like a group photo shoot. Um, a little less than a month from now, so I'm excited for that. And then I think that will be the point where, or maybe even before that, I can just start. I just need to know when our community ride will be. And then from there, I'll just start promoting on social media and doing that whole thing. But uh, yeah, that's my check in for now. Here are the cookies for the last training. Please excuse my dirty seat. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't vacuum the car. Who has time to vacuum the car, honestly? But um, yep, they're from Safeway. They're not fancy. They're not gluten-free, cacao nib, fancy cookies. They're regular schmegular cookies. I, I've been doing not a good job of updating uh, surprise, surprise. It's just, it's so busy with like meetings, not meetings, trainings, you know, back to back and then like work and school and stuff. It's just like, everything is just go, go, go. It's like Monday night, Monday, back to work, work all day, go straight to take a class. Oh, a spin class, then train. It's like, he's like, what the hell is she doing? Then train until 8.30, get home, shower, eat, like maybe look at homework, not do homework, just look at it. Um, and then, you know, try to go to bed at a reasonable hour, probably around 11. And then, yeah, Tuesday, same deal. No, Tuesday, actually this past Tuesday, I... I didn't have training and I didn't take class. I took a break. I was like, my body needs rest. So I just took it easy. Wednesday was the gauntlet, really busy day of work. Um, it's always just like the middle of the week is when we have, I have all my meetings mostly. And then, um, yeah, went into training or took a class, spun, spin class. Wow. Spin. And then training until, and I stayed really late this past Wednesday because we're practicing our full 45 minute playlist. So that takes up a lot of time, obviously. So I didn't leave until like 9.30. And then got home, showered, ate, and then st I had a homework assignment due at like at midnight Wednesday and like got it turned in by 11.30. <laughs> I don't think I did too bad. I mean, I followed the directions and everything. I just, it wasn't, um, you know, it wasn't spectacular. But at this point in, in my grad school life, career, whatever, I'm just like, done is better than perfect. Like, I just got to strive for done. Um, luckily, I've been like, well, knock on wood, I've been doing okay with that philosophy somehow. Like, I got an A and a B in the last two classes that I took. So... Yeah, yeah, just stay. I'm really late on doing my midway checkpoint of like review or midway review of how I feel about the program so far. I'll do that. Oh, sorry, I'm flipping you off. I'll, I'll do that soon. But um, yeah, training. Last day of training. Woo! I'm drinking a Yerba Mate Revelberry. And uh, yeah, I have, oh yeah, I have my, <laughs> my friends and family class um, this Sunday. So. Today is Friday, and then I'm gonna take class tomorrow, and then Sunday is my very first like real class, real life people taking my class. It's gonna be a mix of obviously my husband, my um, fellow instructors, and then like a couple people who who just want to show up um, are coming through. So I'm excited for that. I just I really wanted to fill fill it out as best as I could just because. 
it's a little bit awkward when it's just like one to two people so i'm excited for that and then the community ride is going to be next week sunday so super super stoked for that but um yeah i'm excited it feels it doesn't feel real yet and i think when i finally have my first real class i think this after this sunday um to kind of like get all the jitters out get everything going and like really perfect this per this playlist i'll i'll feel really good but um yeah that's my update i'll try to take some clips uh in the spin room since this is our last training session hit, 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 hit. i don't know why i felt compelled to record right now maybe i think it's like because it's finally hitting me that like like something that I've worked so hard towards and wanted so badly for so long is like finally happening. I don't know. I think I talked about this in the clip, the previous clip too. But uh, yeah, like I think it just hit me like I'm doing it. Like I'm, I'm gonna become a spinach. Like this is it. Tomorrow is my first class and well, friends and family class, but still, like, I was feeling kind of anxious about it at first, and now I'm just, like, psyched, and just, like, feeling a little emotional about it, and just, like, all the sacrifice, and, like, hard work, and, like, dedication, and I know this is just the beginning, but I don't know, I'm just really stoked, and really proud of myself for sticking to it and not giving up when like there were definitely a couple times where it was like work was crazy like back to back to back meetings gauntlet day and then like going and taking a class and then practicing songs afterwards and just being wiped but like trying my best to like give all my energy you know and then like coming home and trying to do homework <laughs> Not that I had to do that like a ton, but you know, sorry, I just washed my hair and it's in a clip, so that's why I look like I have no hair. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I like watched, uh, I'm watching Tyler the Creator's Outside Lands performance, and like for some reason it made me emotional. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I don't know, I'm just really happy and grateful I'm just feeling really grateful and really 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 proud of myself I think like really only myself and like my husband know the extent at which like like the level of commitment this took and um I don't know it's just hard when like Sometimes, you know, it's I'm thankful to have at least one person in my life truly who supports me. Well, and my best friend Amber, shout out to you. But it's hard sometimes when your support system is so small. It's like, you know, when I don't know, when you have like a huge family and they're all rooting for you, checking in on you. I just kind of sometimes I wish I had that. I don't know. It's a lot of mixed emotions but mostly happy, <laughs> mostly happy and just like, I did it, I made it, you know? Um, yeah, I'm proud of myself. Whew. So it's four o'clock. I took class this morning and stayed at the studio, well, hung out a little bit and stayed at the studio and helped paint the studio. So it's got a fresh coat of paint. <laughs> I, I think they're still there, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I dipped out at, like, 2 o'clock. I was like, I gotta do homework, guys. When in reality, I came home, took a bath, ate, and just kind of fell asleep on the couch. And now it's 4, and I'm like, okay, I have a little bit more energy. <laughs> I need to, like, go get coins for laundry, start laundry, and, like, try to do homework. But, <sighs> yeah, I just wanted to take a moment to reflect, I guess. 
just kind of pat myself on the back. I'll definitely record tomorrow, of course. Um, leading up to us leaving to go to class, that's going to be interesting, to say the least. Um, it should be, it's going to be fine though. It's going to be fine. I'm going to do great. It's like, it's not that big of a deal. It's not that much pressure. Like, I don't, there's nothing to win, you know? It's just like, just continuing to build, build and get better. Friends and family ride, done. Done. Naked, just kidding. <laughs> How was it? Oh, it was so much fun. It was so great. Um, He's just exhausted. saying that because we're married. You're like legally obligated to say I'm sorry, I'm my class is fun. I had so much fun though. I feel like, I, I like I said, I leaning into it, it was like, I just wanted to have fun. And like, I tried really hard to like count every, like just in, implement everything that I've learned and stuff, but I definitely like let some of it go just by trying to have fun. And like, I probably didn't have like the most perfect form for certain things, but it's fine. Um, I don't wanna like beat myself up over it. And everyone else seemed to have fun. Everyone else was like, those songs were great. I mean, I stole a lot of songs from the folks that were there, but yeah, I I had fun. I felt confident. I felt really good. I felt like my voice was like nice and like clear and like deep. Um, and I tried to like really mix it up and not be monotone because that's been like my biggest area <laughs> is not be so like one tone. The whole that, that's what monotone means. But woo, done. Got it done. Friends and family ride. Just got my community ride next Sunday. I'm so excited to have a rest day tomorrow. This was day five in a row of spinning, which like is not that big of a deal. I know like some people go crazy and spin like every day, like seven days a week. My lips are purple, probably cause I'm drinking purple coffee, but yeah. Time to shower and rest. I'm so excited. My legs are so sore. Hi. Hello. I was telling or we were making a joke that I'm I'm taking or I have Scully's dream job because she's an Australian Shepherd and so they're used they're bred to um herd sheep and stuff on on, a, on farms. And so <laughs> Like being a spin instructor, you're just like two count, one single count, left, right, right, left. So I'm just like directing people and that's like totally her dream job. Right, Scully? Right, left, left, right. She's like, what? All right. Ooh, I swear I do my hair and then it just like doesn't want to cooperate. Yeah, I'm keeping the mask on my chin because, whoop, yeah, mask knee, full effect. It's just like not, my skin does not like wearing masks. I feel like when you're younger or, you know, just in general, you have a tendency, or I had a tendency to like cover acne with makeup and then the makeup is causing the acne, but then I have acne, so I wanna cover it with makeup. So it's just like this never ending cycle. I feel like that's how it is now for me, but with masks, it's like, but I'm wearing masks because I have to and because I, I need to, but I also want to, to cover up my acne. I don't know. Um, It's 8.47 in the morning and I'm drinking, not a White Claw, but a Celsius. <laughs> Oh, my nails look bad. Um, drinking a Celsius and I'm about to go to 9 a.m. class. Um, and this is like the last just regular old class before I have my community class tomorrow. Um, I'm nervous, but I'm not so, so nervous. I have, I think I'm just anxious just because I have like a lot going on today. Um, normally would have come in at, at 10 a.m. today, but 
because I have so much to do today, I decided to just come in at nine. So anyway, yeah, I'm supposed to talk about how I feel and teaching my first class and I'm excited. I'm really excited. I'm excited to get hyped. I have a lot of folks from back home that are tuning into the live stream. So I'm excited about that. Um, yeah, I'll check in probably like right before class or maybe my husband will film me a little bit, but hi i'm i realize i never actually recorded my thoughts reaction from my first like official or no i think i don't i didn't oh no i didn't record after my community class um okay yep i'm in bed right now with my computer it's yeah it's that kind of day um yeah I didn't record or vlog after my community class because I wasn't feeling great about it um let me I'm gonna switch so I wasn't feeling great about the class I just felt like actually there were quite a few things that kind of went wrong and I wasn't feeling great about it, even though those things happen. Um, I had like an issue with like my computer actually totally completely stopped. Like I just it just stopped playing music, and um, yeah, that was interesting. I think like I lost connection for a bit to the internet, but then I was able to get it back up in like a minute, basically. And what else? Like a few other things, like little slip ups, but nothing major, really. The biggest thing was just like my internet cutting, and that's not my fault. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. I just, I feel, I felt kind of like, oh, that wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. And I wasn't like super amped up, like hyped afterwards to record, you know, to vlog afterwards. So I was like, okay, I'll just wait till after my first class. And my first class, I still. <laughs> my first official class where folks had to pay to come in I still just w didn't feel that feeling like I did after my my friends and family class where I felt like I truly nailed it and like everything went great um I, ha I think I had a few more classes I've taught taught in that's a word I've taught a few already since my community class since the last time I recorded but I'm pulling up my schedule or like past classes that I've taught taught in uh why can't I find it now oh right in front of me so oh wow that was my so I just taught actually my fourth class fourth official real class um, and it was a 6.30 class this morning, hence why working from bed today. And it went great. Um, I felt really in the groove, felt really in the zone. I had done this playlist um, last week, Saturday, so I knew it super well. And I, I wanted to kind of like set myself up for success. I didn't want to do a bunch of new songs at 6.30 in the morning. Um, and, it's, and I learned the hard way um, and through the last three classes that I taught before this morning that adding a bunch of new songs or four new songs to a playlist is just like not smart to do. <laughs> so just like really ambitious. Um, mainly, and I, d I did that because I was like, oh, I don't want folks that are coming into my classes to just hear the same songs. But I'd rather them hear the same song. I've realized I'd rather them hear the same songs and be kind of like, okay, I know what to expect. Um, but me, me teach it very well or teach it well and, you know, be on beat and not have, you know, slip ups or anything, then have a new song and be kind of like unsure and not as confident. So, um, yeah, I'm adding a f only a few, I think three new songs or two new songs to. The Saturday I'm teaching the Saturday and that will be my fifth official class which is crazy I'm, I'm doing it I'm actually teaching 
Um, it's just crazy. I, I don't think I really had a moment to stop and realize, like, this thing that I've been wanting to do since probably, like, the end of 2019, towards the end of 2019, I was already, like, wanting to become an instructor. <laughs> And I had just started taking classes in October of 2019. But even to say that is crazy is that I've only been taking classes, writing consistently since 2019. And that's not that long ago. That was only two years. Well, it's about to be two years ago. A year ago. What is time? I don't even know. It's still 2020 to me. Um, That was not that long ago. And... I, sorry I keep just like my yeah you see this so I'm just we're gonna leave it alone um but yeah it's just crazy even that is a huge feat in itself let alone I haven't been writing in studio obviously for a while because of COVID you know all of 2020 basically I was just like pretty much all of 2020 I was just writing at home and it's so different from being in person like night and day um so yeah I don't know it's just crazy crazy to think that after such a short period of time but also feels like a long period of time that I'm finally doing this and that I'm like in it now like I'm working this into my life into my work schedule into my my school schedule which has been interesting this week I decided to not take any in-person classes like uh like you know usually I go at like 6 p.m but because um I had finals this week I'm still in finals week right now I decided I'm going to not um not go in person and make things a little easier on myself and just ride at home whenever I could basically and just do like a live stream class and it kind of put me in this mindset of like okay you have no excuse you're literally you're not even going to the studio to ride you're writing at home so you got to do it um and it worked it's crazy it totally worked I got everything I needed to get done for my for, for one of my classes so Tuesday night I already had a final presentation with a group project and then tonight Thursday <laughs> I have a presentation and a paper due. Uh, luckily, the both are due. I have to turn them in at like midnight tonight. So you best believe tonight after the presentation is done, we're going to be editing the F out of that paper. Just, you know, it is what it is. Worked on, you know, the it was a simulation we had to do. Worked on that. <sighs> Last night, I stayed and worked on it as long as I could but obviously I had to get up really early I woke up at five this morning which was crazy um so yeah we're getting it done um and I'm officially a spin instructor I don't think I actually officially said the name of the studio um and I realized I've been going through this conundrum because I've been trying to keep like some aspects of my life private but I'm I have to share this I'm making a vlog about me becoming a spin instructor so it'd be kind of silly if I didn't tell you guys you know the five people that watch my channel that I'm a spin instructor at at a specific studio so Revel PDX Revel Indoor Cycling um just Revel PDX that is the name of the cycling studio uh, or indoor spin studio that I teach at, um, so it's official, uh, I, why do I feel like I'm, like, talking about, like, I'm dating some, like, it's a new relationship, <laughs> but Rebel PDX, look out for me on the schedule, currently subbing right now in December, um, whenever I get this edited, I'll probably have my own set schedule, so, I don't know, just keep an eye out, on the schedule for your girl Johnny. Thank you so much for watching this and coming along the journey with me. Um, stay safe. I appreciate you.
and uh, yeah, excited about this, the next chapter of my YouTube, YouTube channel, if you could even call that, I think I only have like three videos about grad school. Um, winter break is three weeks. I can, it's so close, I can taste it. I'm so excited. I really want to do more things for my channel while I'm still in grad school, really soak it up. I still have to do, I have a lot of things to do. This clip is getting way too long. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.